everyone, it's Beetle Jade, and welcome to my channel. Uh, the game that I'm going to be playing today is called Star Stable Online, and it's one of my favorite games. If you're a big fan of anything to do with horses and you want to find a good horse game that you can play long term, then Star Stable Online is that game. I've been playing it for a lot of years and I've been enjoying it thoroughly. And I thought it would be a good idea to just be able to make some sort of like walk through for you guys who might not be able to experience the full game and just show you what it's all about. So the character that I have here today with me, um, I just created her recently um, and her name is Kit Rose Garden with her horse called Rose Petal and she's just arrived at Moreland Stables to be able to uh, just go around, have fun on the summer camp but it seems like there are some things that are happening here uh, on the island of Jorvik that your character can actually explore and be able to work out some secrets that she might have to be able to solve. So this is a really cool sort of slow paced game with a lot of interesting little quests that you can do. And honestly, it's a great game for anyone um, that loves horses. So we'll just get right into it. So we're just starting off learning getting a hand of the controls uh, with the WASD for just moving forward back left right and then we have to walk over to talk to anyone with a exclamation mark above their heads so walk up to them and press the left mouse button to talk hi you must be kit nice to meet you and welcome to Moreland my name is Justin and I run this stable with my dad it's pretty hectic right now. A lot of things are happening here, but forget about that for now. You're new and I don't want to bother you with our problems during your stay. Over there is Rose Pedal, who will be your horse for the summer. Take him for a quick ride so that you get to know each other. Ride off and talk to Maya, who is in the yard next door. So we have to ride over to Maya, who is in the other yard. Maya has a green exclamation mark over her head and the green is sort of a completion quest, like the next step. So this here is Rose Petal. To mount your horse, walk up close to it and click on its saddle. So you get to choose what your starter horse looks like before you actually go into the game, um, as you've seen previously. And yeah, I wanted to go with a horse that looked kind of different, not the same, like really standard looking. So I went for more of a darker coat with a light mane, just to be a little bit different. Um, and here you can pet your horse as well. Justin's a little bit in the way, but yes, you can pet the horse. And then of course, get on the saddle and you can go for a ride. And this is Moreland Stables and Maya, of course, that we have to go talk to. Alrighty, let's go. Hi, I'm Maya. Nice to meet you, Kit. It's great that you chose to come to Moorland. Welcome. This is the best place ever to spend your summer vacation. I'm doing a bit of work in the stables around here to earn some extra Jorvik shillings. It's always good to have pocket money. Come back to the stables later and I'm sure we can find you a job. So we've got a entry for Maya Dew added to our journal. So she is a stable girl, 17 years old. Her family status is unfortunate. BFF is Alex, which we'll meet later in the game. And she's just, yeah, hanging out to help with the horses in Moreland Stables. So Maya is an overworked stable girl at Moreland Stables. She loves horses, even though she has no horse of her own and isn't an especially good rider. She's so friendly. She even volunteered to help me at my stables if I need a hand. So it looks like these are uh, like personal journal entries of like the people that you'll meet here in Jorvik. So she's got another quest for us. There is so much to show you and talk to you about, but first you should go and speak to Jenna. She can tell you a little more about how things work here in Moreland. So we have to go talk to Jenna for some riding basics. And there she is over there.
All right. Hi, Kit. I've been expecting you. And we're getting a lot of XP for us and our horse. Congratulations, you started to build up your reputation with Moreland Stables. And reputation is really important if you want to be able to unlock particular quests that you can't reach at a certain time. Um, so doing little daily quests, building up reputation is really important. Hi, you're Kit. Welcome to Moreland Stables. Normally Thomas Morland shows new visitors around, but he's very busy right now. I don't know if you've heard about the horrible company, GED, who want to demolish the stables to build luxury condos, but enough about that. Before I let you ride off beyond the stable gates, you have to show me that you can ride. There is a small yard behind me. Show me that you know the basics and ride around the square track. Ride one lap and come back to me. So we're to ride around the square track in the yard. Okay, here we go. I think this is the fastest my horse can go, which is a lot, not, not too fast right now. But we'll get faster eventually. There we go. If I can move forward, there we go. So finish that. Fantastic. Nice work on the square track. You and Rose Petal really worked as a team. Keep it up. I think you are ready for some bigger challenges. As promised, you're now allowed to gallop freely outside the stable walls. So good. Before you leave to explore the rest of Moreland, I want you to show me that you can jump with Rose Petal. Jumping with your horse is all about timing. First you need to make sure that your horse has enough speed. If you want to at least ride and canter gate, you want to at least ride and canter gate. Then you command your horse to jump, and with good timing, you should fly forward over any obstacle in your path. I have placed a jumping obstacle in the middle of the square track. Try jumping over it. So we have to press space or zero on the keyboard to jump. You can increase the speed of your horse by pressing W, the up key, or scrolling the scroll wheel forward several times. So there's multiple options. Um, Fun fact is that previously, like when the like the game just came out, like in 2012, uh, jumping was specifically only available for star riders, so you have to have a membership, and also uh, you had to do a special quest, so it wouldn't be just at the very beginning. You'd have to be like level four or something like that before you could do it. So they've definitely changed that now. Um, and yeah, so now everyone can jump, which is pretty cool. Because it's a fun thing to be able to do. And that's pretty easy. So now we can jump, which is great. Fantastic. You and Rose Petal did great. It's time for you to move on to bigger challenges. And we leveled up, so now we're level two. Rose Petal's still level up, but we will we'll train her up soon. You need a bigger challenge in the square track. The stable gates are now open and outside, just past the shops, there is a paddock. Ride over there and talk to Loretta. She is a member of the Bobcats Riding Club and a great rider. She can be a bit grumpy with beginners, but never mind that. Ask her if she can show you how the competitions work here in Moreland. So we have to find Loretta outside the stable. So this is the paddock. And there's Loretta. So, oh, we got a new ability to gallop. So, to gallop, press W or the up arrow to ride faster. The faster you ride, the wider the turns will be, and you may have to slow down by pressing S or the down arrow. You can also adjust the speed with a mouse wheel. Your horse will automatically slow down unless you keep commanding it. Cool. So now we can go faster, which is fantastic. Yes, I'm Loretta. Let me guess, Jenna sent you here to learn the fundamentals of competition riding. Of course she did. All the girls at Moreland Stables want to join my riding club, the Bobcats. Lesson number one, the Bobcats only accept the best. If you want to ride with us, you have to earn your place. Lesson number two, always be training. 
Competition races are a great way to push your skills of a rider to help your horse reach its potential. You don't form a bond like the one my horse Bartok and I share overnight. Before we move on to lesson number three, I need to see what level you are and what's your horse's name? Don't tell me it's Puffy Heart or something corny like that. Rose Petal? Okay, I guess I can work with that. I had my club set up a practice course in the paddock. Don't worry, it's totally basic. All you have to do is pass between the flags in the right order before time runs out. Let's see what you and Rose Petal have got. So pass between the flags in the right order before the time runs out. And we can gallop now, so this will go faster. So just smashing the W key to go faster. Okay, now we're galloping. It's a little bit faster than before, I think. Yeah, and the turns are a bit wider now. But the good thing is, as you level up and your horse gets better, you're much it's a lot easier to be able to move your horse around and equipment helps with that too all right cool so we finished that that wasn't too bad for a beginner you and rose petal are a good team now you could stay in the paddock and play it safe riding in circles but if you want to make a name for yourself in the dual vic riding scene you're going to have to aim higher Lesson number three, never settle for anything short of greatness. Speaking of greatness, Bartok and I have a serious competition to prepare for. My fellow club leader, Tan, can take it from here. Wow, she's really on it. She really wants to win competitions. But I think we could definitely get good enough to be part of the Bobcats one day. You must be the new girl everyone is talking about. My name is Tatiana, but my friends call me Tan. Welcome to Jorvik. I actually did not know that her name was Tatiana. I, I think they might have added that recently, because I don't remember her name being Tatiana. I hope Loretta did not scare you. She can be a bit intense with new arrivals, but she means well. She takes riding very seriously. That's why Loretta insists that the Bobcats be available to help the new riders at Moreland Stable train. She calls it charity work, but I have a feeling that she is secretly scouting for future Bobcats. That's us. Now, let us talk about races. Here in Jorvik, riding is a national pastime, so you will find no shortage of races as you explore. Practicing on race courses is a great way to train your horse each day. I am going to let you try, try out a basic racetrack. No pressure. Remember, this is only for training. Just give it your best. Oh, we don't get anything for it. That's sad. <laughs> Oh, my horse is so slow starting up, but that will get better, I know. I also really enjoy the races in this game because it's a nice way of actually kind of really taking in the scenery of Dorvik because one of the favourite things about this game for me is that like just the environment is so well done. like. They're constantly updating it with better graphics, so there are regions where it's still not as good as it could be, but they really do pay attention to the scenery, so it's not just the horse that they care about. So I think that's really well done. And that's honestly one of the big reasons why I love doing the races in this game so much anyway. It's just so green and so pretty, and relaxing as well. Okay, so we got bronze. Yeah, it's not bad. That was quite good for your first try. You're, you've really never ridden that horse before. It seems you and Rose Petal were meant for each other. Oh, thank you. If you want to help Rose Petal reach their potential, you will need to train every day. Race organizers like myself will give you one daily training session that will help your horse grow. If you are feeling competitive, you can also visit the race board and try for a higher score as often as you like. When you use the race board, it will not help your horse train, but every rider can earn ribbons, and riders with the best times can even earn prize money. It was so nice to meet you, Kit. Enjoy your time at Moreland Stables, and don't forget your training. We will not forget. And the blue exclamation mark means that she's got like a like a daily quest, something you can do every day. Um, and this is 
the same race that we just did. You can do it once a day, full XP. You can do it as many times as you want. If you want to get a high school, you just only get experience in the first go. So we won't do that right now because we just did it. Uh, and it looks like loretta has got another quest. And if you want to check what other quests you have, you just press L and that comes up with quests that you can do. So we got a main quest, which is return to Justin. And then we have a side quest, which is Ferdinand's horse market. So let's just go talk to Justin first. And I think we have to go to Loretta to get that quest. I saw you over there chatting with Tan, like it was some kind of moment. Don't get your hopes up. Tan is sweet with all the newcomers, but she takes our riding club just as seriously as I do and would never let just any new rider into the Bobcats. Wearing the pink is something you earn by being the best you can be. Anyway, I think Justin is looking for you. Probably needs help mucking out a stable or something. Better not keep him waiting. Ride over to Justin, who was in the yard where you started the game. And it looks like we get a special item for completing this quest. There's Justin. So this is what I'd call like old animation. So they've been updating graphics quite a bit, but some characters, they haven't yet done that, um, including like Loretta and Tan as well, so they're yet to do that. Um, so you can tell the difference that kind of in that transitional stage of like some characters updated, some are not. Um, but yeah, it's just a slow process. Back to Justin. Hello. There you are, Kit. I hope your writing lessons went well. Now that you've made some new friends and spent time with Rose Petal, it's time to talk about the responsibilities that come with having a horse. Sometimes when completing a quest, you are rewarded one item, this jacket. You can double click on the item in your backpack to use it or drag and drop the item from your backpack into the right slot in your character sheet, uh, which is accessed by pressing C. You can also buy better stuff in the stores. Okay. So our backpack just popped up, which you can access by pressing I. Um, and this is our novice riding jacket and it gives us jumping plus one and carrying plus one and it's a pretty good fit uh, so this will help us with the way that we actually uh, kind of play the game because with things like jumping that will improve your horse's jumping and carrying I'm actually not too sure about carrying but I assume it's to improve like it's associated with your horse's mood which we'll learn about in a sec um, and if you get better equipment uh, better gear this will help you long term just being able to do things better and get those high scores and races and stuff like that so we're just going to equip this by double clicking and then this puts our starter gear back which didn't give us anything so now we can close that and talk to justin here at Mullen Stables, we expect our guests to care for their horses. Having a horse isn't the same as owning a bike or a car. It's a relationship. The more time you spend around horses, the more you'll see how much you have to give each other. It's a beautiful thing that bonds with humans can form with horses. Here on Jorvik, we call it Aideen's Gift. If you've never heard of Aideen before, don't worry. I'm sure you'll find out all about her soon enough. She's sort of like the guardian spirit of this island. There will be plenty of time for fairy tales later. Right now, let's get you equipped to take care of Rose Petal. You'll need some hay, a bucket, a hoof pick, and a brush. The tools are over here by the wall of the house, on top of the bales of hay. Once you've gathered them, come back here and I'll show you how to use them. So to find those items, all this sparkly orange stuff is just saying, this is where you have to go. It's very straightforward, this game, which I do enjoy. Okay, and also uh, you can access the map by pressing M, we can just look over there, um, and you can see these yellow circles, that's another indicator of where you have to go. Just pick these up. Yep, got everything. Yep, these are the tools you need. Hey. Now that you have the tools you need, you're ready to take care of your horse. First, you have to dismount. You can't very well take care of your horse up in the saddle. Then open up your backpack so your care supplies are ready. Finally, give your horse hay and water. Clean its hooves with your hoof pick and groom it with your brush. Go ahead and give Rose Petal their daily care. 
I'll stay and watch in case you have any trouble. Okay, so you have to dismount, open your backpack, and then pick out all the items and use it on your horse. Um, so, yep, everything is stored in your backpack. Click the backpack button uh, to open your backpack, drag and drop an appropriate item onto your horse to perform that part of the routine. And then this is to dismount and you can also press X and I'm someone who much prefers using like keyboard shortcuts. It's a lot easier. So, uh, but I'll press it this time. But, and also you have the option of being able to run, which you press shift to switch between walking and running. Okay, so I'm just gonna try that. Press shift and now I'm running. Okay, back to Rose Pedal. I'm gonna go take care of her. So we just have to drag the item on and the border will turn green, which means you can use it. Done that. Gonna feed her as well. Oh, she's so cute. Uh, give some water. And then clean her hoops, which in this game apparently means just one, but that's all right. <laughs> Uh, well done Kit, now your horse feels better and is happier. If you do this every day, your horse will be soon so happy that he will run faster, but if you don't take care of Rose Petal, he will soon become sad and run slower. Surely a responsible rider like you would never let that happen, especially not here at Moorland. Here at Moorland, we always need help taking care of our horses, and now I know that I can trust you. Look at the notice board by the stable and see if there are any stable jobs that need to be done. We update it every day, so remember to look at it every day. Oh, and if there isn't any water in the bucket, you can fill it up from the well outside the stable or in the trough in your home stable. You can buy more hay in some of the shops. Oh, and we have an entry from Justin Moorland. Um, well, I'll just close this. So he's 20. His favourite food is lasagna. Special skills matching people with the perfect horse. That's pretty cool. Horse breeding sims is his hobby. Um, so Justin was the first face to greet me when I arrived at Moreland Stables. He's such a nice guy, so helpful and patient with all the new girls, many of whom have never ridden a horse before. People say he has a gift for matching each rider with the perfect horse, and I believe it. I truly do. Okay, so let's go talk again. My dad, Thomas, wanted to meet you. Apparently he wants to ask you about something very important. I'm scared it might be about our troubles here. Mr. Campbell, a nasty boss from the company GD, is doing everything he can to evict us so that he can demolish the stables and build luxury condos here. We're still trying to figure out what we can do to stop him, but he's as slippery as an eel. You should be able to find Thomas outside the stable, near Jenna. You know, the girl who showed you around the square track. So we have to talk to Thomas Morlin, and it looks like we have to save the stables. And this is Thomas Morland, who is Justin's dad. Okay, let's go over. Oh, and before we do that, actually, um, we've got this little icon that says that we have unread mail, um, which means we can go check our mail. Uh, and if you want to go check it, you have to go and find the post box, and that means you can, uh, like, post box are usually in every major region, and actually, I forgot where it is. Uh, maybe it's on this side, and if it's not, oh, there it is, yep. Yeah. So you just click on your mailbox, and that comes up with whatever uh, is sent to you. And I signed up and got a free gift, which I don't know, it's a feather thing, but it's just not <laughs> coming off on the icon. That's all good. So we're going to just delete that and close it. And here, when we touch it, is a head feather. And it's very cute. The description is all stuffed up, but yeah, we know. <laughs> we know what it is. And it's a beautiful feather. It just adds a little bit extra to our horse and we just passed Thomas Morland just too busy looking for the post box all right back to Thomas what does he have to say thank you for coming so fast Kit the situation with Mr. Campbell from GED is getting out of hand and I need your help 
he's added to the journal as well. Um, and yep, so he's just Justin's dad, and I think he owns this place as well. I just heard that he has almost convinced the council that GED has the rights to the land, and there is hardly any time left to stop him. Right now, his creepy surveyors are setting up their equipment so that they can make a detailed map for the planned demolition. I'm the true owner of this land, but I need time to prove that to the council. Can you help me save Moreland Stables? We have to delay Mr. Kemble's surveyors to buy some time. All you have to do is turn off their GPS equipment. They're setting them up in the area outside the stable, between here and the hills, where their construction site is. I've marked more or less where the GPS equipment is on your map. Good luck. So we have to turn off the GPS equipment the workers are setting up. And... I think we passed one on our race. And we can see all the sparklies seeing where we have to go. Um, is it this way? Oh no, I think it's the other way. One of five. So they turn five of these off. And see the billboard as well for GED. Just turned it right in front of a worker. Um, Originally, um, years ago, when you try to do this quest, you had to do it when the workers couldn't see you. Uh, but they've changed that since, just probably to make it easier for one of the first quests that we have. But it was pretty frustrating, because I think I'd be able to get it, but I can't. Okay, so we finished that. Splendid, good work. I truly appreciate it. That will delay them for a while. Now I've at least got a little time to build my case against Mr. Kemble for the council. Okay, so I think I'll just stop our first video here because uh, it's been getting pretty long, but I'll definitely be back very soon to keep on going with our adventures here in Star Stable. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!